Okay, when we left off in part one, we had created color swatches based on an image of Cinderella and sized and positioned based on the cutting files on the screen in Cricut Design Studio. You could also just do swatches of a certain size and place them on your mat individually. You can also take any of these swatches when you're still in paint and change those to RGB numbers. There's a lot of different ways you can do this to get the colors on your page. The reason I'm using Word is because it lets me print at exact size and position on the page much more easily than I could do so in Paint. If you have PSE or PSP or any of those programs and you know how to do this, then that's fine. I was trying to go with the lowest common denominator and a lot of people have Microsoft Word and of course everybody that has Windows has Paint. So anyway when I left off I was using this one inch square to resize this move this size until this square which I set at one inch in Word matches this square which was my reference one inch square from over in Cricut Design Studio. So I got that the right size. I don't need that square anymore. And then I also did the same thing up here. I used a half inch circle, positioned it at the corner of the page and then positioned this so that I knew that I wasn't guessing what that circle would look like if it wasn't cut off. I went ahead and used a real circle. So now I know that this is positioned on my page in the exact corner and that this is the right size because I know this is one inch. Now I can print this on my own inkjet printer and when I do that it may cut off part of this for the margin but that's fine. That's not going to matter. I will then take the corner of the paper, put it in the corner of my mat, the upper left corner where the, uh, the little T is and if my Cricut is properly calibrated and um, done everything properly then when this cuts the proper pieces will fall in the proper color areas. You have some extra margin here so it doesn't have to be perfect and then you would just paper piece these and you would have a Cinderella in the colors that she was intended to be rendered in. So I hope that you found this helpful and um, I'd love to see what you create. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.